Hey guys, I just wanted to do a video on um, making homemade baby food. Now, Emmy is um, just starting this month. She's four months, so I've been kind of stockpiling her food. Um, I So I have some in the freezer, but this I did a couple days ago, and I just wanted to let you guys know, like, it's worth it, and it's so much cheaper and and you know what you're putting in um, your baby's food. So this one right here, as you can see, I right now I'm just doing them in the ice cube trays. I do use the baby bullet, which you see over here. But I have used all of the um, storage containers that I get uh, or that you get from the baby bullet. Um, anyway, back to what I have previously froze. So this is a papaya. Um, which you can see here I have another one that I'm going to um, going to do today and picking out a papaya um, it needs to be yellow so this is like perfect it is great to be um, you know chopped up in in made into baby food this is only a half of papaya this one is the other one I put in the fridge um, the kids wanted to eat it so this is only a half and I am the reason I'm picking up so many papayas is because I shop at Aldi's and they've had them on sale for 49 cents so that's a great deal um, considering um, baby food jars you know range anywhere from 54 cents to a dollar um so that's that's why we are making so much papaya and hopefully she likes papaya um now this one is cantaloupe i got this one on sale actually too for 85 cents now um this is only a half of cantaloupe the other one um my daughter ate so she, we love cantaloupe in this house um but that's that's a lot of servings of baby food um so to me yes it is so worth it and then as you can see here this is actually one of the baby recipe books that I do love I got it off Amazon um, I'll put the link in the in the description below it's it's great um, and I'll also put one in for the baby bullet as well too um, but on my agenda next to do is um, the squash the papaya I have two mangoes here and I have an avocado so I'm going to go ahead and do all those um, and then I will show you how much I get out of each and then you guys can decide if it's worth it or not it only takes maybe maybe 20 minutes to do um, I know with the squash I do have to bake that but I think it's only for like 10 minutes so super cheap super easy um, and definitely worth it for your baby I will um, get back on after I'm done preparing. Hey guys, just hopping back on to show you all the baby food that I got out of um, the squash, the avocado, and the papaya. That is all I did do yesterday. Um, now in the ice cube trays, the orange is the papaya. That is one whole papaya. Um, super easy to do. All you have to do is um, pit it and um, I cut it like I do a cantaloupe so it was pretty easy and then just um, scoop it off and put it in the blender. I did not need to add any um, breast milk with it because the juice is enough were um, able to keep it the good the right consistency. The four tray the four little cubes that you see of green those that is one avocado. Um, I did have to add I added a probably about an ounce and a half of breast milk to get it to a good consistency um, but again that was super easy all I had to do was pit the avocado um, and I just scraped the the avocado itself out with a spoon from the skin which was super easy um, the containers in the back are the butternut squash um, that I got from one whole squash now um, in my previous video I did say that um, it only take like 10 minutes to cook now I was reading on how to do that um, 
which it said I could do it for 10 minutes on well on high for uh, in a in a microwave if I like stabbed it with a fork. I did do that. It did not work. So I just resorted back to how I know to cook a squash. I um, baked it at 400 degrees for an hour in the oven and then it scooped right out and I was able to put it in the blender. I did add, I added probably about an ounce or so of breast milk to make it the right consistency, but it was awesome. Um, so worth it. So I probably spent yesterday maybe a half an hour doing all of this. Um, and I have so much baby food. So again, like I said, it's so worth it, but I will let you guys, you know, be the ones to decide. I, uh, my next video to do on baby food, I'm going to do asparagus, peas, green beans, mango, and maybe some apples and carrots. I forgot carrots. So that's what I plan to do next. Um, if you guys have any questions on baby food or like anything you want me to try or anything like that, or if I have tried, just let me know. Um, thanks for watching.